Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education, the pros and cons of teaching. Now let's separate this whiteboard into two equal halves. On the left, we're going to place the positives of a teaching career. We'll place the negatives that come along with teaching. Now, if you ask most teachers what they enjoy most, vacation time would likely be the correct answer. Many teachers take time during their summer vacation to travel the world, see wonderful places. As a negative, most people don't realize all the paperwork that comes with teaching. Grading hundreds of essays, tests, and quizzes isn't fun at all. Then comes the lesson planning and data tracking. All I have to say is 3 o'clock. Teachers get out of work at 3 o'clock, which usually avoids traffic and gets teachers home in time to see their children. The teaching profession is not one where you're going to become rich. Everyone seems to know that teachers don't make much money. Nevertheless, many teachers are forced to work a second and third job just to pay the bills. Not having financial security is a tough way to live. Now, although you won't get rich as a teacher, it is a very stable and secure job. Tenure is a special security afforded to teachers. Another negative of teaching is having to prepare students for standardized tests. Today, teachers are held responsible through standardized testing, which is a great deal of pressure. Teachers get to make use of their education. Many people go to college and don't do anything with their degree. They find different lines of work. Teachers, however, pass what they've learned on to others. Most jobs don't require you to bring your work home with you. Teachers will tell you that they are spending more and more time working at home. They are responding to emails, lesson planning, giving attention, etc. and so forth. Forming relationships with your coworkers is what I enjoy most. So I'll give a quick shout out to Mansfield, Dr. Helfont, Gabe Streck, Sabula, everybody that I've met, and I'm sure as a teacher, you'll make some great connections as well. One of the toughest situations is teaching emotionally and behavioral students. Some students can be really aggressive, hurtful, and outright dangerous. Yes, they are only children and we care about them, but they can still create pain and misery to a teacher. The best reason for being a teacher is that you get to be a hero to some of your students. In this job, you can actually make a difference in the lives of your students, which is an amazing feeling. One of the bad things about being a teacher is that you are under a microscope and held to a higher standard. One of the more practical reasons to become a teacher is the benefits that come with the job. Teaching jobs come with medical and dental benefits. Teachers in public school get a pension and most private and charter schools offer great 401k plans. People outside of education don't really understand how difficult and abusive parents can actually be. Parents will bully, threaten, lie, and go after a teacher just to ensure their son or daughter gets the grades they desire. And an added bonus of working in education is that you get to relive your school experience. As a teacher, you get to go on a field trip, play fun games with students, and even attend Christmas parties. And lastly, teachers can become career stuck. Once you get a job as a teacher, there's really no room for career advancement unless it is as a school administrator. And to get that position, you need a whole different degree, which can be expensive. So here's the question posed. Is it worth it to become a teacher? Well, that's on you. Right now I wanna say, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to check the description link below for resources and you can find links to follow me on Twitter and Pinterest.